Does your TV have a black screen? Well, one of the major causes is the backlights, and I'll be showing you a setting that you should change so that this doesn't happen. Go into your picture setting and change the backlight to normal or around 50%. Because you have these LEDs in the back of your LED TV, and if one of the LEDs breaks, it basically will not turn on and it'll appear to be a dead TV. But basically, if you can repair the broken LEDs, we can get it back uh, in working condition. So the very first thing that you would do is just take off the back cover of your TV and then we'll have access to the different boards inside. There are basically two main boards. You have your main power supply board and then it has the wires that go to the backlight. Then you have your main board and then a TCOM board uh, at the bottom. And then it has a little strip. So you can use an LED tester and verify that your backlights are um, bad by injecting voltage and seeing if there's a glow on the back. But Or if you just turn it on and you see a flashing and then it turns off, it just means that your backlights are bad uh, too. And you can also verify that the voltages are fine on the, on the power supply board, but 99% of the time it's your backlight. So you can remove the ribbons to the TCOM board and then there's these little ribbon cables that connect to your LCD that we need to get loose. So just prying them up gently. And there's a couple screws on the, on the front bezel um, so at the very bottom, just removing those, and then you can pry up along the outside of your TV, depending on your TV. Uh, usually they're just little clips that you kind of clip around to get rid of that bezel so that we can remove the LCD. Uh, then with that bezel off, I'm taking, uh, taping the ribbon cables to the, the screen. Then using some suction cuts, we can remove the screen. I'm using a playing card. Sometimes the LCDs are kind of like glued or adhered to the TV, but the majority are not. But in this version, I had to use some cardboard to go and cut around the outside. Then I can remove the screen. And then with the screen, there's one more little bezel that holds on the little white sheets of um, filter papers. I use electrical tape to tape the filter pages together. It's just so that I know the order they are in and so that no dirt gets in between the filter pages. Then removing that, there are these little support clips and some screws that hold the white uh, black paper, uh, the white paper on the bottom. And then you can remove the paper as well. And then we'll have access to the LED strips. You can order new strips, but from like uh, China or what have you, but I just like repairing the broken ones just using the LED tester going through and it can also verify the voltage. In this case, it's a three volt uh, LED. You can also go on eBay and this look LED backlights, three volts for TVs. So this is what it looks like close up. And you can see there's a positive and negative, which you can test. I'm testing there and it's not turning on. So that means that this guy's a bad guy. I found the most efficient way to remove them is just cutting it off. And then it has the little pads on underneath it. It's really efficient, doesn't require any heat. Then I just put some liquid solder and then I got some new uh, replacement LEDs and there's a, a big pad and a small pad. The small pad is negative, uh, po uh, positive and the big pad is negative. And then just using the heat gun to heat it up for about 20 seconds at uh, 350 degrees and then it will make the liquid solder adhere to the, the brand new LED. Just verify that the LED is working and there we go. So you're going to be doing that to all of them. And then you can also glue back the filter cap. I'm just using uh, silicone or shoe glue. I found shoe glue is really good because it sticks and it dries really fast and it has a good bond. Just putting the filter back, uh, cap back on. Then I can verify that the it still works and that the filter caps in the uh, right in the center there so you just kind of move it around with your finger and then you'll be doing that if you notice that when you're testing the leds if one of the leds has a turns on slowly you might as well replace those as well i just uh, plugged it back in uh, into the power supply and this verify they're all working and then i just reassembled and then we can see that the tv is working again again this is very common black screen you, you may still have a standby light and or video. The uh, most definitely it is your backlight. So to save this from happening in the future, 
go into settings, turn down the brightness. I almost all my customers had it, the brightness to a, as high as, uh, as possible. And that's why the LEDs burnt out early. Um, so to put them around to normal or 50%, depending on the setting on your TV, you can always reduce the brightness and uh, that will enable your TV to last a lot longer. Okay, I'll see you in the next video.